So today I unboxed the BlackBerry Passport. In fact, you can see the box just sitting there behind me on my desk. And I will be uploading that video to the channel very soon. It gives you the full unboxing experience plus my first impressions. And I must admit, I was very surprised at the size, but equally surprised at the actual quality of the device. The build quality is rock solid. I also unboxed another iPhone 6 Plus. Another one, I hear you say, why do you keep unboxing iPhones? Well, I unboxed the iPhone 6 Plus when it first came out. Then 3 sent me another one out, but they needed that back very, very quickly. And now they've sent me another one, the silver version, which I've unboxed on the channel. So it's really given me a great insight into how all of the colours look on the iPhone 6 Plus. Because I had the gold one, first of all, on the channel. Then the space grey one. And then just recently the silver one, which I've still got to edit that video. And that'll be up on the channel probably by the weekend. So it's been a very exciting day with all the unboxings. And I'm expecting yet another smartphone to come in next week which I will unbox and then give you the full review experience as well. I also did my review on the Sony Xperia Z3 Compact today, courtesy of Clove Technology, and wow, I am impressed. I'm not gonna give you any spoilers here, but again, that video will be up on the channel really soon. Now, what else do I wanna to talk to you about? Well, it wouldn't be a video without me talking about some of the recent news, and I've got to talk a little bit about Windows 10. Windows 8? Windows 8.1, Windows 9 disappeared, Does, doesn't exist, never will exist. Windows 1, apparently it could have been called, but no, they settled on Windows 10. Now I'm not gonna bash it because I haven't actually used it. There is a um, sort of tech preview available, so you can install it in a very, very early stage or early form. This build is very early on and uh, you can get to grips with all of these so-called new features and that's sort of what I want to talk to you about it's new features that they demonstrated things like snapping uh, windows to the left and to the right or snapping them in all four corners of the screen wow uh, things like the start menu coming back need I say more and things like having multiple desktops which I've in fact used for quite a long time on Mac OS so yeah, I know there's a lot more under the hood of Windows 10. I know they're working very hard to create a seamless experience across multiple devices. And I think the main positive point that I came away from after watching the demonstration is the uh, section where they showed you using Windows 10 on like a computer, like a laptop or desktop with a mouse and keyboard, so non-touch driven. Then they introduced, um, oh, I've got a fly, fruit fly. Puh, damn you fruit fly, it's gone in front of my lens. I shall go back because that completely put me off. The thing that impressed me in the whole of the demonstration they gave was they were using a Windows 10 device and it was like with a keyboard and a mouse, so not touch driven. And then they removed the keyboard from the equation and the system will ask you, do you want to switch to tablet mode? You say yes and then the apps go full screen and when you go back to the start menu you're presented with the larger tiles. Reintroduce the keyboard and then it asks you do you want to go back to I suppose desktop mode or keyboard mode. You say yes and the full screen apps then sort of shrink down a little bit into windowed apps and uh, you also get the full start menu accessible again. So I like that so I can see where they're going with that but some of the things that they were saying were features that they've been working on, to me, I was thinking, oh my goodness, you could have done a better, much better presentation of this to really convince people that they have to move to Windows 10. You know, this has been a long time uh, problem with the Windows platform in the fact that there's so many legacy users out there and so many business users that the transition from Windows 7 to Windows 8 was hard enough and now they're having to battle to get people to then change from Windows 7 and 8 to Windows 10. So they've got a lot of work ahead of them. And um, I just hope they do it, I truly do, because there's nothing wrong with the Windows platform. 
I just think that they could have better conveyed that message, you know, that they do struggle with their presentations and it gives very confusing messages to a lot of people, even people who have had a lot of experience of various computer operating systems. It leaves you bewildered as to why they're doing such things and they're reintroducing features that they took away in the first place. I think the real positive message they did give out though is with this technical preview they're gathering lots and lots of feedback between now and I would say probably the second quarter of 2015 when it's more likely to release in a, a public sense of the word. Uh, so they're gathering lots of feedback from users and hopefully integrating a lot of suggestions into the future version known as Windows 10. So I hope they do it, you know, I will give it a try. I might even find a machine to put the technical preview on so I can have a little play around with it. I've been doing the same with Mac OS X Yosemite actually, I've been playing with that behind the scenes, I haven't really talked about it on video. Um, because I really like to test and bring you details of, you know, finished operating systems or finished software. So that's why you haven't heard me talk about Yosemite either, but I might put Windows 10 on and have a little bit of a chat about that in a future video. So my day, the rest of my day after doing recording this morning, there's that fruit fly back again. I just can't get rid of it. My day, apart from doing the recording, I've also done some food shopping for the family. I've also been doing lots and lots of tidying up just to try and get everything straight. I like a tidy workplace, I really do. And I've also been answering lots of your comments and uh, questions as well on the recent videos that have gone up on the channel. And I say this in many, many videos, but I can't repeat it enough, is that I really do appreciate all your comments. If you don't get a response, I do read them all. I just respond to as many as I can. So thanks again for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments section below about Windows 10, and I'll see you all in the next one.